Stefano, a.k.a. Chrissy Cauliflower Tits. With me, as always, Giannis Pappas, a.k.a. Yanni Vagina. Yes, a.k.a. KD Lang. KD Lang, Yanni. So, we are so sorry that a new episode did not go up last week. Uh, my father went to the hospital and Giannis's father died. Yeah, your father was trying to eat himself into heaven. Yeah, that's what he was trying to do, but... Unfortunately, at least he was going to go on Pete on Pete's. Literally, what happened was my dad got rushed to the hospital um, because they thought he had congestive heart failure. But after all testing and hours and hours and hours in the ER, they discovered that he had had nine slices of pizza the night before and the so much sodium from the cheese fluid backed up into his lungs and he couldn't breathe. I mean, that is a DiStefano way to go because when you go, it's going to go, you're going to be totally in Chrissy Cupcakes mode. Because I'm a sleepy fucking kid right now. Because your Chrissy Complains, you got a few more nicknames that the people need to know about. One of them is Chrissy Complains. Yeah, and once one of them's Cloudy Chris D because yeah. I like clouds and I'm depressed. Yeah, and also- I haven't been taking my CBD oil. That's <laughs> Because <laughs> you still have a cough I'm telling you I said it on the $25 episode For our Patreon members Go to patreon.com Slash Bay Ridge Boys We have so much more content up there That you guys are missing out on If you do not join our Patreon But I said it on the $25 episode That because of all the times That you've yelled pedophile In front of Catholic Church <laughs> Jesus now is slowly squeezing your lungs out Through pneumonia And I told him to do it And so did Lynn Yeah, yeah. Well you also got another nickname Which is Chrissy Chili. Chrissy because, Chili. Yeah, today's the first time Chrissy complained about the cold. Yeah. And you, t- I'm just trying to explain how strange that is because Chrissy's a kid who, when the heat is kicking in from the weather, wants to hurt Chinese. I want to hurt And he Chinese. looks red and uncomfortable, and he loves the cold. And for some reason, today, Chrissy said, I feel chilly. I'm cold. And I couldn't believe it because it usually doesn't come out of a German head. Yeah, because I'm just a chilly fucking willy kid. I think um, I had a few bruises last night and I got hammered. Because when I asked you about the bruise before, you got a little flustered. You got, yeah, the serial killer Chrissy came out. Oh, yeah. I saw you like, no, I didn't have a, I like when you get, I like when you get defiant. I like when you, I like when you get defiant of Yanni Tough Hanks. Yeah. That's my nickname. Yanni Yanni Tough Tough Hanks. Hanks. Yeah. Why? Yeah, because you know what it is? I'm just tired and I don't want to deal with it. And I'm just fucking sometimes I just get tired of you analyzing me. I just want you to stop yeah. sometimes. And I wasn't even I hate it. And I wasn't even analyzing you then. I was just asking, trying to ha- troubleshoot from why you threw up the other day. Yeah, I think it's probably because I took a flight to Seattle at 8 a.m., landed at noon. No, that's still not normal. Did a show at 7 and then took a flight at 10 p.m. that night back to New York. Yeah, but that's still not normal because you threw up. Nobody throws up from sleeping in first class. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So you must have eaten something or you had a few too many brews and then you got angry at me for asking you about brews. Yeah. You just want to be left alone because you want to die in your own vomit, yeah. you fucking dumb kid. Yeah, because I'm just superior and I don't need your help. To the person who left a message on our fucking iTunes, you know what? If you leave a neg, if you go out of your oh, way, yeah. yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, Yanni's Yanni's furious. Now you're gonna get fucking the fur of fumes. Yeah. You just ignited the fur. Now I'm Yanni Mussolini. Yeah, Yanni Mussolini. Listen, if you go out of your way, yeah, and get and because they put it on a public forum, say their fucking name. Ex- that. Because it's public. Because I want to sit in your fucking lap when you say the things that are in my brain. I want to sit in your fucking lap. Get in my lap. Please get in my lap. And then I'll hit you over the head with a cast like Ted Bundy. (laughs) You're obsessed (laughs) with Ted Bundy. Yeah, because... You've spent most... let's. You've spent some part of the last three days since you started watching that thinking you were Ted Bundy. I feel like Ted Bundy. Yeah, why do you think there's so many similarities? You fucking useless eater. Because I take parts of people's personality i always act like a different person when i'm with when i'm with different groups of people i got blue eyes and i just want to hurt people oh that's that yeah that that makes a lot of sense yeah okay. read out this fucking name i'm gonna find this because i know this is probably the same kind of person that tweeted at me that they didn't like my performance on Beastmaster. <laughs> yeah you know what annoyed me more about i almost respect 
Jewel SSDs review more because she just said horrific. Remember her? Yes. She said, if you find Morning Zoo humor entertaining, this is the podcast for you. So fine. I don't mind that at yeah, all. Because it's kind of true. It's subjective, too. It's subjective, good, good for you. And we're kind of we're kind of uh we're craft. Yeah, we're farting into the mic. We're definitely crass. But yeah. we're also smart kids, and we do some yeah. history. Yeah. And um, I mean, you have a PhD in physical therapy, because so you, so you know how to, you know, yeah. you know how to feel somebody up with special needs and see what their lumps are. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That's your that's your career. Yeah. Yeah. Um, me, I'm I'm just a kind of an Ivy League educated kid. Yeah. You're an Ivy League educated kid that didn't go to any Ivy League schools. Exactly. Yeah. I'm a Wikipedia educated kid. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, in between. Um, her review and this review I'm about to read was a review that I, I like. Um, it's uh, because the name of the person who reviewed it put Ku Klux Chrissy. Yeah. <laughs> and is this a positive review? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a weird one. It goes, these two are hilarious. Sounds like a Bobby Bottle Service sketch by Nick Kroll. I love Nick Kroll. Yeah. And I love that character, so I'll take that. Although, you know, we're not really like, you know, we kind of are just ourselves, really. Yeah, well, every, any Bobby Bottle Service is just like a New York guy. So when people yeah. hear New York accents, they just think that's that's what it is. Right. But I love I Nick get Kroll. It. I, yeah. I'm a huge, are you kidding me? Nick Kroll's one of the fucking comedic genius. He's great. Yeah. Okay, so here, uh, well, we got a good one. I'm gonna, I just want to read Cannonballs. Yeah. Ca Cannonballs. Yeah. Says, wild. Yeah, this show is wild. Heard King Gay on another pod talking about the time he couldn't sneeze. Fan for life. Always love finding great new pods. This is one of the best. Yeah. Yeah. So he must have heard you on Kreischer or so something. Maybe, maybe heard me on Hey Bert Kreischer. Herbert. Hey Bert. Hey Bert. Um, hey Bert is in fucking, he's in, he's in permanent timeout right now. Hey Bert is just off the podcast so we are flourishing. We, we want to replace Hey Bert with Manolis from Canada. Yeah, we've went, we've, we've cracked 420 patrons as soon as Hey Bert got away from us. Yeah. No, we love Hey Bert. We love Hey Bert. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you said you didn't have the soundberg, Isis. I'm, I'm doing it with my phone. Fuck it, we love you. Yeah, Isis a... was 20 minutes late and the sounds don't work. Yeah. Attack Isis on our Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash Boys and let Isis have it. Yeah, General Mattis, if you're listening, bomb our studio. Yeah. Okay, so her name is Alyssa Khan. Fuck her. Fuck, she sounds like a dumb fucking Netflix 15 fucking booker. Yeah, well, you know, I, I hate this review because it's like half good. I want them to either be horrible yeah. or, or perfect. Yeah, hers is pointed, you dumb bitch. Yeah, you were, you're, I, you're too correct. You're too correct. So That's she, why I'm getting angry, because you're the best. Because, I mean, you know, how annoying is it to give someone three By the stars? way, Wei Shan Shime for saying dumb bitch. You can't say that yeah. anymore in 2019. Yeah, Zach's got to put his phone up. I didn't mean to up. say dumb bitch. Wei Shan Shime. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we have a real fucking, we have a real ghetto fucking operation here yeah you have your now you're holding the soundboards up with your iphone because you have your hood you have your hat on your hood above your hat and then your headphones above on top of your hood and your hat and it's infuriating because you're ungelled right now and i want to throw this microphone into your fucking nose yeah because i want to fucking drive you up to the highest hill in poughkeepsie and roll you off it you fat fucker because would the if you killed me in poughkeepsie would it be for our ten dollar patrons or twenty five dollar patrons <laughs> Because <laughs> my dream, you know, when you go to a historical site, yeah, and there's a sign up there that says the year and tells you what happened there, yeah. My dream, one of my dreams is obviously, I know I'm gonna live longer than you, even though I'm older than you, right? So, one of my dreams, though, is for me to kill you in Poughkeepsie on a hill, yeah, and make that hill famous where Ku Klux Chrissy, yeah. Got put down. Yeah. So it says it on a sign. I want a historical sign to say, yeah. comedian from Guy Code, Andrew Schultz, gets put down. <laughs> yeah. Got put down, a.k.a. Chrissy Cream Puffs, got <laughs> thrown off this hill. A a.k.a. Chrissy Complains. Chrissy Complains in the closet, Chris D. If you say you're tired one more time, I'm going to fucking command ISIS from the caliphate to fucking take you down. Yeah. 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 He's a ready kid over there. He... Can we just tell the people that he told us he may not be able to record Thursday? Why? What did he say? Because he said he's got to get tattoos on his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> How much more room do you have on your fingers? I've got a good amount. I've still got, you know, seven of them left. You hurt? You hurt? hurt? Yo, we need a you hurt button for whenever ISIS talk. You hurt? All right. So listen, here's what she says. She goes, this is Alyssa Khan. She says, three stars, which is fucking annoying. 
because I either want one star or five, five. or get the fuck out of here. Yeah, because three was annoying. Yeah, yeah. Right, she go goes. She goes. This is her title too. How annoying is this, Chris? Yeah, could have been great. Ugh, could have been great, Isis. Ugh. She goes. The history is funny, but the quote unquote gay jokes ruin an otherwise awesome podcast. I was hoping that it was just a slip up in one of the episodes. But I've listened to two or three now, and it's a major buzzkill. <laughs> kind of bummed because I wanted to keep listening. Listen, they're not gay jokes. Chrissy is king gay. I'm just a gay man. Yeah, you, she's a gay. He's a I gay. blew a guy in Houston. You grew, blew a guy in Houston. We got to make shirts named Houston. Or how great would shirts be? Uh, shirts that say I blew a guy in Houston. Yeah, that would be great. I blew a guy in Houston, and every letter and the T in Houston will be a staircase for Anne Eileen. Yeah. Yeah. Because you were raised on a neutral staircase that was run by the United Nations. Yeah, and nobody, if Anne Eileen or my mom weren't, wouldn't enter into the other one's apartment without permission. Yeah. Chrissy, come down here with Eileen. Yeah, listen, your mother's working late, so can you run to the store and get me a Spartan and a pack of menthols? A pack of menthols, and we're having dinner tonight, we're going to have what we've always had, chicken cutlets with stovetop stuffing. Have a chicken cutlets and wise potato chips. Yeah, then for dessert, we're going to have an Entenmann's cake. Yeah, and if you're really good, Janet's going to bring by some German cookies that I can't remember the name yeah, of. Yeah, Linz and Tots, and then if you're really, really good, you can blow your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy Lins and Tots. Yeah, Chrissy Lins and Tots. Guys, you got a lot of nicknames. I got a lot of nicknames. Yeah. Okay. So that's Oops. what she said. Yeah. So that was that was the review that we got. Um. So you know, leave us a review. Hopefully, a good one. Go to iTunes. Leave us a review. The more reviews you leave, yes. the better. And go to our patreoncom slash Boys and write on our community board. Since we missed an episode last week, I just want to read out. It. Here's the thing: if you guys are new to the podcast, you're getting this episode for free right now on iTunes or wherever you're listening to the podcast. But there's extra content for a dollar a month, five dollars a month, ten dollars a month, or twenty five dollars a month. You read the tiers. You pick whatever you know, however much access you want. Um, and we do things. And one of the things we do is we read the newest members to the Patreon, or we call it the Matron because we're the matriarchy because we're fucking wild hyenas. And hyenas as a group of animals is a matriarchally dominated animal group. And this is a matriarchally dominated society. Fucking 2019. And um, they're fucking vicious. You yeah. know what's funny? I keep hearing this thing about toxic masculinity. But you know what the feel is? Let me just say this quick. Yeah, every, here we go. Every species where the female is as strong or stronger than the male, they are... Just as brutal as the male. So is that toxic femininity? You look at praying mantises, you look at hyenas, the list goes on. Someone brought up bonaboos as an exception. A little bit of an exception, but now they're finding that yeah. bonaboos also, unlike chimps, because right. bonaboos are thought to be our closest relative along with chimps, but the peaceful right. ones, but they've just uh, discovered that the female chimps actually go out in parties. Bonaboo female chimps go out in parties right. of hunters and, and kill other primates yeah. and, and eat them. Yeah, and they also bully and gang up on the men. So they also uh, eat one. They also saw one eating uh, one of the dead babies. So they saw uh, infanticide and cannibalism. So my point is, all living things are brutal, whether it's masculine or feminine. If the women are in charge, they're brutal. Whoever is a little stronger physically is brutal. Is brutal. Yeah. So. If women were as strong as men, um, they'd be brutal. They'd be fucking brutal. And as we can see, when they're in control, like we're about to do Queen Elizabeth today, they're fucking brutal. Ma Bloody Mary was fucking brutal. Brutes my goats. Elizabeth, who doesn't have a nickname like like Mary. Bloody Mary, she got the name Bloody Mary because she killed a bunch of goddamn Protestants. But Elizabeth killed just as many Protestants. But she was a fucking virgin and pure like Lynn wants. You fucking pedophiles are Catholics. Yeah. Well, hey, Queen Elizabeth was the virgin queen. Yeah. But if she, but if, but if she I got was, banged out just like Mary. If I was, Mary took dick. Stop. Okay. Here we go. Here's the newest members of the Patreon. And as always, I read the names out and Giannis guesses their ethnicity. Okay, first up, Katie Schurer. Katie Schurer. Wow. She's a German. Her, her ancestors is German. And she's an American girl who has no. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. Fumes. Okay. Next up, Bridget Tooted and Booted Griffiths. But what nationality? Say it again. Bridget Tooted and Booted Griffiths. Griffiths. Wow, I'm gonna go. She's um, she's gonna be. She's like a quarter Scottish, Irish, and German. No, she's black. Wow. She's got a picture. She's a P. Yeah. Okay, 
Rich from Zuni, NM. How you doing? My name is Rich from Zuni. Listen, I got a roofing company. There's a van, and it has a phone number on the side for you to call. Greg Johnston. Greg Johnson. He's a black kid. You hurt. Michael Proctor. Michael Proctor? Yeah. Wow, that kid has a, got a dentist name. Yes. Michael Proctor, Inc. Uh, he's that's a wee. Wee. What yeah, about? Protestant white kid. Wasp. Christy Kennedy. Christy Kennedy? Yeah. Oh, uh, we got I mean, uh, Irish roots yes. and uh, related to the Kennedys and no question. Yeah. Um, spends a couple hours a week in a bar. Yeah. I think she's a fucking Irish girl. She looks like it. Fuck you, dude. Jordan Anthony. Jordan Anthony? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's a, a first round pick. Yeah, Jord oh Jordan Anthony? Jordan. Yeah. I mean the kid's going to St. Bonaventure. He's got a chance to make the league. Yeah. Here we go. Caitlin transgender parentheses fumes. <laughs> <laughs> uh I'm gonna go ethnicity funny and uh, PPW, pseudo penis of the week. Yeah, yeah, and her pro and the profile picture is, is it her? Is a hyena eating its dick. Yeah, so it's a funny kid. Now this one is Edin E D D I N Martinez. Que pasa mi gente? Yeah, he's like a Mexican kid. His profile picture just looks like fucking what I it's kinda looks it should have a bullseye on it with ice. Yeah, he's yeah. a wall climber. Yeah. Can I get a Wei Zhang Jing, please? Wei Zhang Jing. Caleb Spiegel. Caleb Spiegel. It's a wasp Jew. Yeah, that's a Spiegel. Yeah, Caleb yeah, half wasp and then the, Yeah. And then <laughs> Okay. Ray, one word because I'm a black kid and it is what it is. I love yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, PPW runner up. Yeah. Then we got um, Supreme Peen Keon. That's another black kid. Yeah. Yeah. We th yo. We we got two more. We got starting five right here. Tommy Rolden. Tommy Rolden. I'm gonna go another black kid. Four black kids. No, he's a row. white kid. Tommy oh, Rolden is a white kid. Yeah. He's got a picture with his mom, Dukes. Oh, so oh wow. He's like Chris. He's sleeping in his mom's bed till he's 16. That's what it is. He's got a picture with his mom. Yeah, it looks like his mom. I don't know, the, pictures, the pictures are so small yeah. that sometimes it might be his mom. I don't know because I can't see on my phone. Does he look Frankton and Beenden? No, he doesn't look Frankton and Beenden. He looks like a normal kid. All right. Zachary, so gonna, Zachary Davis. Kid. Zachary Davis, wasp kid, white kid. Jacob A. Hall. Jacob A. Hall, another white wasp, wasp. wasp kid. Jennifer Z Bagwell. Wow, Jennifer Bagwell. Looks He's, like a P.E. Jennifer Bagwell, she's definitely a white girl. She's Jennifer Bagwell. She's from Houston, and she's been a fan since the Carly Days on Girl Code. Yes. Hi, Andrew Schultz. One name, Adam. Adam? Yeah. DJ Adam, cuz. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say he's a Pakistani kid. Jeff Simpson. Jeff Simpson? Oh, man. he's uh, That's a school teacher name. Kid's got a mustache. He's a wasp kid, and I bet you he's from Pennsylvania. He looks like he's from Pennsylvania. He is a white kid, but he looks like a trucker. He's got a trucker hat. Wow. So I don't know. Serious. XM kid, right? Yeah. Next up, Patrick Bernie. Patrick Bernie's an Irish kid. Patrick. Yeah. So I'm going to say uh, he's got no fumes. He ne may have red pubic hairs. And he's got no fumes. Yeah. yeah. Next up, Irish kid. Courtney Quintal. Courtney Quintal? Courtney Quintal. Quintal? Quintal? Q-U-I-N-T-A-L. No, uh, she's definitely a Romanian kid. She's a piece. She's Romanian. She's a white girl with blonde hair. She's a piece. Ooh. Quintal? So she's a Scottish yeah. kid? Let's go uh -huh. Scottish. Alyssa Romano. Al Alyssa Romano's back? Yeah. She's she's back and forth. We've had her. She keeps canceling. Listen. Yeah, well, she, yeah it says she's declined. What is she she tried to give three dollars. What do you mean she's declined? I don't know. Now it says declined. So we're not even going to read her name. Yeah, she just... Ashley or Zoko. How you doing? Listen, Ashley, I'm going to be home in 10 minutes. If my fucking spaghet isn't ready, you're going to get it again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm out with the I'm out with my boys, the Jets are on. And last but not least, Claire Starling. Claire Starling, um, she is too cool for school. She is, uh, I'm going to go, she's a Swedish, her roots are Swedish. And she's too cool for school, and she's a pop, 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 pop. Yeah, and David Fugelsang is the last one. Fugelsang? Yeah. Uh, Fugelsang is, uh, that's Scandinavian as well. Yeah. I'm going to go probably a Dutch kid. He's a Dutch kid. Yeah, he's a Dutch fucking white and kid. Those are just the people, those are just the Patreon members who we missed last week. At the end of this episode, we'll read out our newest Patreon members. And we have, new to the clan, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven, 
eight new $25 members that we have to call. Wow. So we got a lot of 20 So for $25 members, just for the people who aren't familiar with our Patreon, go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. For $25, we'll call you on the phone on the podcast. So we got to call eight people today. We call everyone who becomes a $25 member once, once a, a month. month. Thank you all for your memberships. As you know, you get a lot of content for those memberships. For each and every episode, there is an additional Patreon matriarchy only bonus episode. And in addition to that, if you're a $10 member, you get our walk and talks, our drive and talks. And of course, our $25 members know that they get the special kamikazes as well. And they get everything the $10 and $5 members get. And we got all sorts of new cool stuff still coming. Me and Chris are constantly doing content on the Patreon. Some of our best episodes are up on the Patreon. And we need your support, man. Like we say, you know. This content is um, completely um, sponsored by the fans, produced by the fans, and it's uncensored the way that it is yep. because you guys support it. So go over to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys and join up. Become a member of the matriarchy. Start writing on our community board where we are constantly interacting with fans and fans are interacting with each other. It's important. That is the era we live in now in this digital age if you find yourself feeling like you're not enjoying a lot of the comedy that's being pushed um by networks or by the entertainment industry that's fine come over here we're here for you doing what we do but you got to pay for it you gotta pay and if so. you don't just keep being a fucking toot and listening for free yeah so today's episode is we're carrying on with the theme of women month so we're gonna do how many more weeks do we have how well, many have you done how many we, bitches have we done well we've done only really we've only done one one zach did we do one or two no, no we just did i think you did two you did uh mary, mary queen, queen of scots, scots. oh cleopatra you're a fucking no memory christy sorry so this is the third one queen elizabeth the first and then the fourth one got one more to go what woman do you want to close out with the fourth one i don't know but we're gonna do one more for the women's month and you know what we're gonna do next what? We're gonna, you know, what we're gonna do that because of Kenneth. Kenneth, one of our Patreon members, suggested, "When are we gonna do a Black History Month?" Because we have so many Black Matriarch members. Yes, we're gonna fucking do it. So after this, we're going for full Black History Month in March. Yeah, for Black History Month, we're gonna start out with the history of Eminem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. So we'll do we'll do a full Black History Month after this. All right, cuz. So, so Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth the first, first. There's a lot of fucking wild things about Queen Elizabeth the first. If you remember our last episode, and again, sorry we're late on this one. As you said, there's extenuating circumstances we had to deal with. We but had as family you, family problems. Yeah, I mean, my dad has flatlined and come back to life at this yeah, point. Yeah, my like dad, literally, my dad flatlined. Yeah, he's what, back. recently. Yeah, well, the first time he had congestive hair failure, he, he actually flatlined and they brought him back. My dad's a fucking fighter. Your dad's a fighter, yeah. That does not remember he fought in the Korean War. Yeah. Yeah, it's just what it is. Um, he will be at your wedding and he will dance. He will. And he will bang one of your wife's friends. He's gonna. He's he's up and ready to do it. Because I'm going to, just so we're crystal clear. Be crystal clear with us. I will try to throw it at one of your wife's friends. Yeah. I'm just going to have to try. Yeah, you're going to, are you staying to at the castle? Yeah. Yeah, so and I want to sleep in the marital suite with you and your wife. Yeah, are you? <laughs> <laughs> are you? Uh... Can I sleep, cuz? Can I sleep in your guys' suite? Cuz you do? Do you? Would you? Because sleeping... I'm gonna be scared to sleep alone. Yeah, because we're gonna be in the castle, and this definitely gonna be ghosts. Yeah, so can I just sleep in your marital suite? Do you know there's ghosts in that? It's one of the oldest castles. Is it haunted? Is it? It's haunted. It's haunted bed? Because when you said haunted, you just, you're a fucking trash monkey from Queens. <laughs> yeah. It's just what it is. Or is it Suffolk County, you fucking liar? I'm a liar. I'm actually from fucking North Dakota. When you started doing comedy, you just told people you were from Long Island because Jersey Shore was big then. Yeah, I just told them whatever, and then I told them I was half Egyptian to try to get diversity points. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're a sociopath. Yeah, I just don't care. Yeah, and now you're pretending to be gay because that's hot right now. Yeah, it's just the, the good, it's just the in thing. Just like I've always, whatever nationality I think is going to get me further, that's what I just say I am, and I say that I have Ancestry.com results to prove it. Cuz, did you make a Puerto Rican baby just for your career? I did, and I said it on my special, and I stand by it. <laughs> I knew that it would get me further, and look what it has. It has, cuz. You just make videos of your daughter, and she has no choice but to be in them. Yeah, but she's funny. She's very funny. She's going to be a star. She is a fucking star. So if you remember, 
Um, we did marry Queen of Scots. Now we're going to talk about her more famous, more successful first cousin who, make no mistake, had her fucking killed. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth I, who was King Henry, King Henry VIII's second daughter from his second wife, Anne of Boleyn, who allegedly was a piece. Was a piece. And then got her fucking head chopped off because make a no mistake, he didn't get, she didn't give him a son. So if you did not give King Henry VIII a son, he just chopped her fucking head off. That's what it is. And she was also, Anne Boleyn, she was pushing for the legitimacy of of her daughter yeah. to be in line for the queen. And, and that was causing problems because, you know, King Henry VIII, although he was going against the Catholic Church, he was a Catholic kid. He was a Catholic kid. he had a lot of Lynn Catholic guilt. Yeah, a lot of, because make no mistake, King Henry VIII, his first wife, uh, Queen uh, Catherine of Aragon, was from Spain, and she was a Catholic, okay? And then he wanted to get a divorce, but that was illegal in the Catholic Church. So King Henry VIII said, well, you know what? I'm going to make a new religion, and I'm just going to become a Protestant. And I'm just going to so denounce Catholicism all of a sudden and marry Anna Boleyn. So he wanted him and Anna Boleyn's marriage to be legitimized so their children could be succeeders to his throne because he thought for sure Anna Boleyn was going to give him a son. But it didn't work out, so she got her fucking head chopped off. You keep calling her Anna Boleyn, but it was Anne Boleyn, right? Anne Boleyn. Yeah. Am I yeah. saying Anne of Boleyn? I meant yeah. Catherine of Aragon and Anne Boleyn. And Gosh. then Jane Seymour was the next one. I'm just a fucking gay kid that sucks dick and watch the Tudors, and I fucking know about King Henry VIII, and I... There's times where I just want to push my cock back between my legs and put on a corset and give King, King Henry VIII a son that shit him right out of my ass. That's what you call doubling down on the gay jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what that reviewer said. I'm fucking going to be who I want to fucking be. Yeah. Ambulant. Yeah. Say it in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get it? We get. We got to say it in Spanish. We want. It's just what it is. We got to say Spanish. It's what it is in all different languages. Yeah. And it'd be great to have. It's what it is in Chinese because it's just going to sound like Wei Shan Chi. Yeah. Because me and Chrissy were throwing around saying it's just what it is in Spanish, but I can never remember um, what the words are. So um, Anne Boleyn, she um, at first she resisted uh, King Henry VIII's advances to her, right? Because. Yeah, she was. She was. What was she? A chambermaid? What was? What was she again? She was like, I think, one of Catherine of Aragon's ladies in waiting. I think she was just like she would just help right. clean out her chamber pot, you know. And then King Henry the Eighth walked in and just, you know, King Henry the King Henry the Eighth used to be a real cute kid, so yeah. he just wanted to bang. He wanted to bang out, you know, Catherine of. He wanted to bang out Anna Boleyn because he was pissed off at Catherine of Aragon. He was kind of like uh, Chrissy Toot uh, Toot Texter. Yeah, yeah. King Henry, King Henry the Eighth bang, He had a few toots. Yeah, he, had, he was. A, if he, had, he also had a few bruises. He had a few bruises and a few toots. And if he had a phone. He'd be Chrissy te Two Texter. It'd be Chrissy. T yeah, who Two Tech? Whoever called me Chrissy the Two Texter is funny. It's me. Yeah, it's funny. C T T. Yeah, C T T. Chrissy Two Texter. So that was that was her mom, and she was known um, after Henry VIII kind of turned on her a little bit because she wasn't providing um, him with a with a male. And actually, when he moved on to his next piece, she started to be considered like the whore of England. Yeah, nobody liked. She went from being like beloved to then you know all media back in the day all the, the pr was negative for anna boleyn but they had a daughter queen elizabeth who grew up like king henry VIII didn't even like really see her queen let's, elizabeth let's be crystal clear about something yes queen elizabeth the first is one of the absolute giants of history 100 percent. let's be fucking crystal clear yeah that her mother was a was beheaded when she was two years old. Yeah, and she still somehow survived, and she was third in succession for the throne because at the end of King Henry VIII's life, he called all his 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 children into a room and were like, here's how it's going to go. First in line succession would have been his son. Then the second in line was uh, Mary Queen, um, Bloody Mary, who would have been uh, who went who would go be on, go on to be known as Bloody Mary, King Henry VIII's uh, daughter with Catherine of Aragon. And then the third line was Queen Elizabeth, King Henry VIII's daughter with, um, with Anne, Boleyn. Anne Boleyn. So Queen Elizabeth was like, you know, nobody ever thought she would ever be. When you're third in succession for the crown, you don't think you're ever going to really become queen. But what happened was King Henry VIII's son died six years into his reign. Then Bloody Mary died. And then, boom, we got Queen Elizabeth I, a fucking Protestant, a Protestant uh, queen sitting on the throne of England, and it's fucking wild. Yeah, I mean, the kid, he died of tuberculosis. He only reigned for five years. Yeah, so it was quick in and out, and he was he was also a Protestant kid, but then uh, Mary, uh, Bloody Mary, Queen Mary, was a Catholic, and she started fucking burning Protestants at the stake, and make no mistake, that made Queen Elizabeth I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, even King Henry VIII wanted to get her... Um, 
hairship, I guess, revoked because he knew that she was gonna she was gonna reverse all the Protestant stuff and yeah, fucking, and yeah, she did. She was a devout Catholic. Cause if my mother was queen, that's just what my mom would do too. Yeah. Okay. If you're devout, any religious, if you're a fanatic like that, it just things get a little weird. Yeah. And let's just make something crystal clear. Um, when I was a kid, my favorite porn star was Amberlynn. Who? Amberlynn. Amberlynn? Amberlynn. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's I'm just taking pulling up some sound clips from an old eighties porn. Was it was she dressed up in like King's attire? No, but she was kind of named after Anne Boleyn, but it was Anne Boleyn. Anne Boleyn. Okay. Anne Boleyn, yeah. Have you ever seen the show The Tudors? Because the actress that plays Anne Boleyn is a piece. I've never seen the show Her The Tudors. Her name is Tudors, Natalie I have Dormier. through your Texas and seen some toots. Toots. The, the, yeah, the, the Tudors. We, yeah. we have the Tudors, and then we'll, we're going to make a, a sketch The Tudors. Yes. <laughs> T-O-O-T-O-R-S. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, because we got a few toots to call today. Because Anne Boleyn is known as a toot. She's a toot. So she gets fucking beheaded. I mean, not to beat a dead horse, but I mean, these people were inbred and they just keep killing each other and attacking each other. It's fucking wild. Yeah, it's well, fucking wild that that Amber Lynn was the mother of Elizabeth and the father killed the mother when the baby was two. Yeah, because like you said, they're inbred. They're they're not really that intelligent. They, they they're given positions of power. But imagine, imagine you, yeah, you banged your second cousin, and that kid was the king or queen. That'd be an issue today. It but it wasn't back then. Yeah, and but it's just so funny that looking back with the with the modern bias that we have now through enlight the, the filter of being an enlightened person in 2018, we can only now analyze that probably being inbred was responsible for all these crazy yeah. decisions to kill one another within their own family. Because back then, this just was normal. It was seen as normal. Yeah, they just weren't that, that smart. One sister and another sister w would be constantly trying to usurp each other and kill each other for access to the throne. So then Queen Elizabeth I becomes queen un unexpectedly. And then within 48 hours, number one, she wipes out all of, doesn't kill them. She just fires all of Bloody Mary's Catholic council and makes all the council Protestant again and gives one man power, who I forget his name. What, do you remember his name? William Cecil? William Cecil. William Cecil had the power to override Queen Elizabeth. Wait, was it William Cecil? Because that was her that was her chief guy. That was like That's the chief. Yeah, they the say William Cecil and her, like almost like she was she was like when you look at the um, what's his name? Uh Peter from from uh what's the actor's name from um Game of Thrones? Peter, Peter Dinklage. Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. He, he, you could almost say he's probably based on um Cecil on William Cecil because William Cecil was really Elizabeth's ha king of the hand or what a hand king or whatever the yeah, fuck it's yeah, called yeah what is it called hand uh, in the Game of Thrones it's called yeah the hand of the king I the believe. hand of the king right yeah right right yeah because yeah. yeah. so I that mean, that's what Cecil was so Cecil and Queen Elizabeth would go on to rule for like forty fucking years and it was pretty peaceful time because Queen Elizabeth was just an excellent ruler she didn't she wasn't burning people if you didn't succumb to if you didn't you know go with her religion what she wasn't right she yeah. So Mary Mary Queen of Scots put her. Um, I'm sorry, not Mary Queen of Scots. Uh, Bloody Mary had her put her in prison too. Elizabeth for like a, Elizabeth in prison. How long was she in prison for? Do you remember? She had her in prison. Zach, can you look that up? I don't know. She put her in prison. Then when she died, Elizabeth was yeah. Elizabeth like Kristen was third in succession. Um, took the throne because there was nobody else left at that point. Mm -hmm. um, and um, she, the the most important thing she did. Um, was establish her own church. Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth started what became known as the Church of England. She no, I thought it was King Henry VIII who started the no, Church of England. No, 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 that was Elizabeth. I thought it was King Henry VIII no, was the Elizabeth. Church of England. Yeah, yeah. It was one of the first things she did, too, when she became um, queen, which is smart, which just shows... A, a, I mean, a, historians... Definitely argue about a lot of stuff about Elizabeth that's unsure, you know. Um, but what I believe, what I truly believe, is I think she was just a masterful tactician who just knew how to have this sort of public persona that really probably didn't match what the reality was. Right. But she knew the power of 
propaganda and how important it was for her to be sort of this divine figure. And that's right. why she was called the Great Virgin Queen. Yeah. And she established her own religion. And not only did she establish her own religion, but she became the supreme governor yes. of that religion. And it was a Protestant church, and it eventually evolved into the, being called the Church and, of England. And this sounds exactly like, this mirrors exactly like what my other hero, who's my other hero? Adolf Hitler! Yeah! Yeah, give me a fucking hey, wage on I was just kidding! Wei 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 yeah! I was only kidding! Cause I was so hoping Queen you wouldn't Elizabeth get it. spent two months in a jail cell at the Tower of London, and then she was under house arrest when Mary died, and she went from prisoner to queen in a few moments. That's fr that's pretty wild. Yeah, in a few moments, prisoner it's to queen. Pretty, pretty wild to be in a jail cell. It was probably a pretty lavish jail cell. Yeah, and you know what, though? But Bloody Mary could have killed her. She didn't. She didn't want to kill her. She just didn't. She just wanted her... You know, not to have any power because she, Bloody Mary, deep down yeah, knew it was her half fucking sister. Yeah, but Bloody Mary, deep down, probably knew like, hey, she's got the, no fumes. Well, she's got no fumes, and the people are gonna rally around Queen Elizabeth more than gonna rally around me because I'm fucking burning Protestants at the stake. Yeah, but that's what she believed. Like, cause can we just can we just be crystal clear? Let's just be crystal clear. Make no mistake. If just stuff. My mother, Lynn. Your mother, Lynn. Yeah. Somehow ascended to the throne of Ridgewood, mm -hmm. and she became the queen of Ridgewood. Yeah. And she ruled from the top tier window if you, if of St. Matthias Church. If she ruled from the Tower of Ridgewood. Yeah. If she, that's what we used to call it. Yeah, the skyline Saint of Ridgewood. St. Matthias Church, the skyline of Ridgewood. If her kingdom, her queendom was in the top floor yeah. and she looked down. Yeah. She'd probably burn a few Protestants now. She burned a few Protestants, and unfortunately, you know what else she could burn? I think she burned a few Protestants, and she probably set a few neighborhoods on fire, like Sunset Park. Can we get a way shock? Shit, please. I unfortunately, I think she would have. She would look at her tower, and if she saw what looked to her like a Puerto Rican flag. It was probably gonna get lit on fire. Yeah, just keep that by Because <laughs> yeah, but that's I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's probably because she's just a little frustrated with your baby's mom. Yeah, she's just a little frustrated with the decisions I've made. Cause she would probably burn me at the stake for saying some of the things that I've said on this podcast. Yeah. By the way, if you are not a member of our Patreon, it's become a tradition every time we're doing a walk and talk and I pass a Catholic church. I just need to scream the word pedophiles. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. We get into a lot more detail on every episode we do, and we just have so much more fun there, and it's fun, but you gotta pay for it. You have to pay for because it. Because it's just the way to make a living in 2019, or else you could just watch some dumb fuck and sitcom with glossy stuff or, or you can watch The Simpsons without a poo. Now, Elizabeth was very educated. She spoke like five languages. Yeah. She liked to fucking like bow hunt. She was like a, a badass chick. Uh, absolutely. She was a badass chick and um, she decided, and this is why I think she's such a smart, brilliant woman. She decided against marrying because you know when you marry and then you, you have a kid You've created, um, you've created a rival. You've created, yeah. You've created someone who eventually is going to take the throne. So that person, as you look throughout hi throughout history, may decide to fucking poison you or killing you to take the throne, even though they're your son or your daughter, or your husband. And she felt she was married to England. But that's where I think was the yeah. I think that part was sort of the propaganda but, part. But I believe the rumors. I think the real reason she didn't marry and what the rumors were swirling around and what I know got Giannis horny and interested and want to do the story is there were big time rumors that Queen Elizabeth was actually a guy. Yeah. And that, once Giannis saw that, then all of a sudden he started. Now, if you look at Giannis's phone, it's all Google images of Queen Elizabeth the first piece. Once I heard he's, that, I go, now I'm listening. Now he's listening, yeah, because Giannis started, as soon as I told him, hey, I'm doing some research, and Queen Elizabeth I, they, there's rumors she had a cock, I could hear his feet slipping into a stocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could hear skin against nylon, and I could just feel it, pull it up, and, he, and I, I, I heard heavy breathing, and then I just heard, I just heard a little splooge come out, and yeah. I knew what he was doing. There's no legitimacy to the rumors that she was a man. It's yeah, just those but... stupid rumors. She was a chick, and supposedly she was a piece. Supposedly she was a big flirt. She yeah, had a lot of charisma. They they say that she had the personality of of Henry VIII, who was also charismatic. Yeah, 
And, and um, she would have sucked me in because she used to brush her teeth with candy. Yeah, she had a big sweets problem. Big sweets problem, so I would have been team Queen Elizabeth. Because by the time she got older, her fucking mouth had completely rotted out. Yeah, and they said her breath stunk. Because they say she used to brush her teeth with honey. That's that, a fucking stupid thing. That's a stupid that thing. That just lets you know, even the smartest of smartest people like her, just because they lived uh, in history, where people were just generally Franks and Beans, right. except for the Ents and Grooks. Yes. Um... They were just fucking Franks and Beans people. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, what was ancient Greece doing in the 1500s? Like, I feel like you don't hear about ancient Greece in we the were 1500s. Run, we were being uh, occupied by Turkey. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. we were getting, uh, you know. Your ass is handed to you by the Ottomans, right? And, and sometimes, uh, quite literally, getting, uh, you know, getting raped. So it's what, it's what it is, because it it's, it's, you know, it's brutal. One of Queen Elizabeth's famous mottos, one that she made famous, um, that she would say uh, with regards to how she ruled, um, was video et tasio, which means I see but say nothing. Yeah. Meaning that's a very. That's fucking gave me the chills, yeah. actually. I see but, but I say, say nothing. nothing. In other words, she doesn't want people to know what she knows, but she knows. But she knows. Which is smart because you, that's, think, yeah. you think she's basically what that says is like she's playing dumb. You don't know. She's playing dumb. So you grow confident thinking you're going to get away with it, but that bitch has been on to you the whole time. The whole fucking time. Yeah, so, and she was also- I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot too. Um, she was c considered very tolerant. Let's just preface all this by saying she ruled uh, for 44 to 45 years, which is atypical, as you can tell. Right. Her previous two- you know, the, the, the two previous rulers <laughs> with a couple of years, couple fucking, I mean, you know, they, they, they didn't make it far. 44 years is a, is a huge success Even just story. to live 44 years back in those days was unbelievable. Everyone dying of the plague and getting killed. Yeah, especially with the way she loved sweets. Mm -hmm. And I think she liked dick too. I think she was, I think she had a private life where she fucked. Fucked a lot. She was supposed to fall. She fell in love. There was, she fell in love with that dude. Um, well, you know, she was, I think she fucked. I think she Well, they said that they said gynecolo gy based off her gynecological records, they, there's not much, but they she may have had some impenetrable membrane in her vagina that like she couldn't she couldn't get she couldn't get banged out that could easily be fixed today, but was a problem there where like a dick just couldn't get in. Yeah. She could pee, but she just couldn't she couldn't get banged out. But I mean I don't know. I yeah. it's just what the, it's just what the gynecologist said. Yeah. I mean maybe that's all propaganda too like of her doing i don't know could, yeah you don't know that's the thing about that's what's so mysterious about her is there's a lot we know about her but there's a lot they don't know about her yeah i mean they do know that she wasn't a virgin i mean like how do they know that they don't because know because she had she she had you know she had a boyfriend or whatever she had that lover for a little while yeah but that doesn't mean she got banged out of course she's gonna get banged out she's a piece and she's got no fumes what are you gonna do with that yeah she's, got, she's brushing she's her queen. teeth with honey every woman wants everybody wants to get banged out yeah, but she she knew that it was good for her image to have this holy aura around her, and also because let's like say the pharaohs, like all the leaders, the great yeah. leaders do, they make themselves religious figures. And she was queen. She's Queen Elizabeth. She's the Queen of England. She's the most eligible bachelorette in the world. If you take off that corset and that dress, and there's a dick there, you're gonna put it in your mouth. <laughs> uh, right? It's just what it. One hundred percent. Like you're already down there. You're not gonna say you got to blow. The queen slash king of England. Yes. For somebody who started off as the illegitimate bastard son of the- Bastard, bastard daughter of King daughter of the Eighth. Of the Eighth, and who was declared illegitimate um, in 1570 by the Catholic Church, yeah. the most powerful religious entity in the world at that time, she's a pretty successful boss bitch. Absolutely. I mean, because understand that she there was nobody and nothing to protect her. So, like- she could have just been thrown in the river as an infant, or uh, Bloody Mary could have just cut her head off. Like, there was nothing, but yet, you know, it all, and that all adds to her legend. It's like, and it, they would, people would say that, like, this woman should be, should have been dead, but like, was it divine intervention that now she rules for 40 years? Like, it's unheard of. Yeah. So she had to have a lot of charisma and somebody protecting her, probably Jesus Christ. And also very sages, and like most successful rulers, she had um, very wise advisors, like we said, William Cecil is considered to be, you know, kind of a co-ruler in a lot of ways because she was such a trusted advisor. She was really the right-hand man 
to her rule. Right. So she was a smart chick, and she surrounded herself with smart people. She was very, very um, cautious, supposedly, in foreign affairs right. and, uh, and war. But then um, in, the f- in the 1580s around, um, the most famous thing happened to her. What really made her and cemented her rule, as you can tell with all big rulers throughout history, Alexander the Great, George Washington, the list goes on. I mean, you could just keep going on, right? Attila the Hun, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Military prowess deifies you. Yeah. You, if you are viewed... Look! Look at look at Ulysses Grant as yeah. a great example. If we're gonna just uh, he was such a shit president, but he he won the war, so he's a legend. He became he was able to be elected president because yeah. he was he was seen as such a war hero before he was before he was even a general. He was a fucking loser alcoholic. He he was a loser. Yeah, he was an absolute loser in life until the Civil War happened, and then he found what he was good at, which was being a general, and that's what made him a president. Eisenhower. General Eisenhower, uh, right to president. Boom. If any general ran for president, they're going to win. Boom. Yeah. You got a good chance. It just deifies you. It takes it to another level. Yeah. So when war with Spain seemed like it was unavoidable, Elizabeth committed and she fucking went to war with Spain. Yeah. And the famous defeat, of course, we all took in our history classes and we know the defeat of the Spanish Armada. The, um, uh, in Armada. the Invincible Armada. The Invincible, invincible Armada. Considered to be invincible, their fucking Navy. And Elizabeth said, yeah, I'm yeah. a fumeless bad bitch. Yeah, because even back then, even though, and it's what, what was true back then is still true today, the whites are superior. Wei Zong Shi. Wei Zong Shi. Wei Zong Shi. I was kidding. I was kidding. I just did it for comedic effect to try to get a laugh. Yeah, because Spanish are also white. Spanish are also white. And actually, to be honest with you, Spanish... Uh, Spanish from Spain is a superior white and Spanish. Okay, we need another Wei Shang Shang, please. Wei Zhong Shang. I mean, this kid is. I can't. I can't. You're a wild kid. Yeah. But he's joking, of course. If you don't know he's joking, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. We make jokes about everybody. We love everyone. Yeah, we love everyone. Cut. Make no mistake. But Ku Klux Chrissy can't be stopped. Cannot be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Because, yeah, I fucking love... That's the beauty about being born and raised in New York. It's impossible to hate any group because we're around every single group. I mean, if you if you really, truly hate a group, it, it's more of a reflection of the sad state of your own life. Exactly. You know what I mean? I'm happy in life, so how could I hate anybody? Yeah, but I also hate people who pretend like... You know, hey, I'm not. I don't have any. I don't know oh, anything. If any, if I you, hate those people too, because like you don't, you don't even. Yeah. you don't even. You don't even hang out with those people. If you're a person in my life, you know where alarm bells go off. If I ever meet a person and I hear them say either to me or to someone else that they don't see color, I stay away from that person. Yeah, because that's all they see is color, and they're fucking. In it, that's a real. I hate when people say that I don't see color because it's a lie. Fucking stupid. Because you have to see color. We all have different cultures, races, religions. You have to see it and appreciate the good parts. Exactly. Yeah. So Queen Elizabeth, after her defeat of the Spanish Armada, she just went on to have just a successful rule that lasted 45 years. It's now known by historians as the Elizabethan era. You know, art flourished. Poetry flourished. This is uh, where... The period that gives us Shakespeare, Christopher Marlowe, um, you know. Everything was accepted then. You could be gay in the street and it wasn't a problem. Is that true? Yeah. I, I don't know that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, one, of the, one of the research I did that she didn't have a problem with, like, you know. Sexual fluidity. Sexual fluidity. She didn't have a problem with it at all. She was surf- certainly, um, she definitely did burn a lot of Catholics, though. It's just sometimes. Sometimes just, you got to put a few of those sometimes down. Sometimes you got to light some people up. Yeah, she did fucking kill a lot of Catholics, <laughs> which is interesting because um, Bloody Mary ends up being remembered in history as Bloody Mary for the, you know, roughly 300 Protestants that she killed. Right. Elizabeth probably killed twice as many Catholics. Maybe more. Who knows? She had a 44-year reign. Yeah. But, um, you know, because she, you know, history is, history is really written by the winners. Yeah. She, nobody criticizes her for that. But she killed some fucking Catholics. There's no question she killed. Yeah. A lot. And it just is. It just do SKS. Yeah. Whatever it is. So um, she was pretty popular throughout that whole reign, which is nuts. Um, England just in, enjoyed peace. They enjoyed the an enlightened period. 
towards the end of her reign, she, things start to fall apart towards the end. Everyone started to get diseases and yeah. there was famine everywhere. Yeah, there was a, everybody was poor. Yeah, I mean, it started it started to fall apart a little bit, but she had an amazing, an amazing fucking run. So that's Queen Elizabeth, and um, there's a there's a lot to be said about her being one of the most important figures in in history, really, because she had such a successful reign and was able to maneuver as a woman and a yacht queen yeah during a time of white male patriarchy so it's a very nice thing yeah she's a very nice woman i yeah. like I, queen elizabeth one of my favorite i remember seeing the uh I, I read there's a lot of movies obviously on queen elizabeth but the one that i think is um is the best is the one with Kate Blanchett, I think, from 1999 or two, I got to see that. And I want to see the Mary 2000. Queen of Scots movie. Because you want to sit on my love sack tonight and watch Mary Queen of Scots? Yeah, but I'm going to have to shower first because my whole body smells them. I got a dirty ass You right got a now. dirty ass. You did not witch hazel your ass. No, I am unwitch hazel right now because you always have a clean ass. I got a clean ass because I'm self-conscious about my ass and hips, so I always make sure my ass is squeaky clean. And what do you clean it out with? I clean it out. Sometimes I clean out with hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good. But I usually use a loofah, and I put Old Spice soap on the loofah, and I dig it in my ass. Is that wild? And then I wash my body with the loofah I just dug in my ass. Yeah, that's why black people think we're gross. <laughs> because you know what? I just wash with a bar of soap, and yeah, I clean my ass, balls, and face with it. Yeah. And I think that black people have a case. Yeah, because- I think they do have a case that white people are nasty. Nasty. I know, yeah. We got to- I know, I, but loofahs are disgusting. I watched the one, something once, so all the bacteria on loofahs, but I just continue to wash them, and that's why I get styes on my eyes. And if you don't get your fucking cough checked, I'm going to get mad and throw you off the varons on a bridge. But isn't a washcloth just as dirty? Because you, you what are you using to wash your ass- Something with a loofah is because you keep using it, a washcloth, when you, when, you know, because there's been times where I wipe my ass with a washcloth and I just have to throw it right in the hamper because I got some streaks on the washcloth. Yeah. I, so how, how do black kids wash their ass? With their hand or? What do you, what do you mention in black kids? They're saying because that, they use washcloths. Well, black kids don't go bar to skin. They only use washcloths? How many good black friends have you had? A lot. They all, that's a washcloth. But I've never, I've never taken showers with them. Have you ever taken a shower at their house? Well, you know what? I used to take showers, I, when I used to take showers when I was on the basketball team, it's interesting because we would all shower and the white kids would get butt naked, but the black kids would wear bathing suit shorts in the shower, even though they had the biggest dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they Is uh, that weird? Yeah, they just probably did not into that gay shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's Harvey yeah, Spencer and now Jr. that I think it, there was a fucking always a coach who used to stand b b kind of one foot in, one foot out of the shower. That's a little weird. Yeah, Catholic stuff, right? Yeah, and he was just like, we just want to make sure there's no funny business in here. Yeah, that's a little... Because I got a blue chew in my pocket, which if I eat it right now, I'll get an instant wood. What's a blue chew? It's a, like a form of Viagra that's like natural or something like that. I got it on... It's not going to be instant. You got to get yourself going and then it'll... You've had a blue chew before? I haven't had it. I have them though. I'm waiting for the occasion. Why do you need them? You're a 23-year-old kid. It's not about like not being able to. It's about making like sex better. Just like... A, does it rape? Does it, does it fuck with your heart though? Probably. All those things kind of do. Yeah, I don't want to take it then. I don't need it. Yeah, you don't need it at all. Yo, can I read out the the, the last few Patreon members? Yeah. Or you want to finish up on Queen Elizabeth? Well, you want to wrap just, it up? I was just going to say another very interesting fact is, you know, we do all these people and you start to compare one to the other and see. Right. See, uh, much like Cleopatra, who was the last uh, Ptolemaic ruler. I always have trouble pronouncing that. Ptolemaic. Yeah, because you're making it up. Ptolemy. No, Ptolemaic. She was the last of that line. Um, Queen Elizabeth was the last tutor. Yeah, because she didn't. She did not reproduce. She, I mean, you know, she did not. She did not reproduce. An heir. And then, so then, uh, who, King, who became her cousin once removed or something? Well, uh, well it was interesting James because Kim, Kim, King James the Sixth of Scotland, who was Mary Queen of Scots' son, became actually King James the First of England, and he was the sixth. He was King James the Sixth in Scotland, but then King James the First of England. He was the first king to actually unite the kingdom, the United Kingdom, England and Scotland for the first time in history were ruled under the same king. king and James her mom the first. was Mary Queen of Scots. Yeah, that was that's her. fucking wild. That Elizabeth made the son of her cousin, who she fucking killed, her successor. Yeah, they're just inbred people. It's just wild. Well, but she couldn't speak the last three, four months of her life. Queen Elizabeth couldn't speak, and her she, teeth were rotted out. Yeah, they were rotted out, and she just made a, a crown symbol so her ladies in waiting assume that she meant make King James the Sixth of Scotland my successor. 
So they don't know. We actually don't know if that's what Queen Elizabeth I wanted. But they assume that she, because she made a, a crown symbol, that's what she meant. So in reality, because back in the day, man, there was no video evidence of anything. I, something could happen to you in a room and I could say he told me to say that and you just had to go on on the word of it. Yeah. It's wild. S supposedly as Queen Elizabeth aged, she did not age. Um, the, uh, she did not do well. She did not take it well. Um, she started like, you know, putting on more and more makeup and the makeup that they used back then was actually corrosive and actually made the aging worse. Made the, and it also got into her brain. It was like toxic fumes. Yeah, and she would wear a wig to cover the grays and she would wear these inor and, uh, or ornate outfits. Yeah, it was said to She had like 30,000 dresses or something like that. Yeah, and it was said very colorful like a peacock and you've all, we've all seen the famous portraits of her and how she just kind of looked like this, you know, godly fucking, you know, pharaoh. I mean, that's we what, gotta that's go what to England. successful we gotta go to Queen Elizabeth's house. Yeah, but then We got to go to England, no? Yeah, we do. What she would do is as she got older, she would all the women around her all her, her, all the women in her court or every every woman that was in the same room with her she demanded that they wore white or black, and that's it. And they wore they were unmade because she wanted she was insecure. She wanted to stick out. She wanted to stick out. So interesting. Uh, um, that that that's the type of things that she did. So just from that, you can tell she was just a very Machiavellian, very practical, pragmatic, right. smart ruler. Okay, and um, she deserves all the credit for. What a successful run she had. She was fluent in fucking Greek and French and Italian and Latin. Um, she was extremely learned. Um, she was uh, well-versed in, in all the teachings from the Renaissance. Right. Supposedly she was quick-witted. Um, she had a big dick. She had a big fucking piece. And she founded the Church of England, essentially. So... Um, she was a big, big giant in history, and that's Elizabeth. And um, she had a. I'm looking at a portrait of her right now. Wow, people used to dress fucking wild, cause they really did. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at her outfit. She looks a little like Meryl Streep, Queen yeah. Elizabeth. Have you noticed that? Yeah, she does. Yeah, would you bang it out? A hundred percent, I'd bang out Meryl Streep. No, but I'll, would you bang? Would you have, Meryl Streep when she was young was a pa 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 piss. Would I bang on Queen Elizabeth? Absolutely. Yeah. Because there's really nobody I wouldn't bang out. I'm trying to think of somebody I wouldn't bang out. Yeah, you just, because you don't, because you're not banging. Because I'm really not present. You're you know what I mean? Yeah, you're just trying to push the gay down. Yeah. That's what I'm motivated by, just pushing down the gay. Yeah, because. That's why I think I got so nervous when my dad was in the hospital, because like, if he dies, I'm just going to have to come <laughs> out, and I'm not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, because. Yeah. So, what, how, how, how far along are we? 57 minutes. Oh, so yeah. And we, you know, we'll get into further detail. Um, we'll we're also gonna get in further detail on the Patreon. Yeah, we'll talk about um, on our Patreon episode, um, which you have to join our Patreon to get all our Patreon. bonus episodes. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge, boys. We're going to talk about, uh, I'll talk my, about my trip to um, to Hamilton, Ontario this weekend. Um, I was a part of the grand opening of the new Levity Comedy Club, which replaced the Yuck Yucks up there. Uh, it's a and great we'll talk time. about Hamilton being a piece of shit town. It's a fucking dirt hole. But and the Chris, club's nice. Yeah, the club's great. And Chris will talk about his trip to Seattle, and we'll get a little further in detail, some special details about Queen Elizabeth I. Um, we have one more Yas Queen month, and next week, who's it going to be? I, oh, who do you want to do next week? Um, I was thinking- Let's do a, Let's do- You know who want to fucking- It's got to be a queen, because it's Yas Queen month. Oh, it has to be an actual queen? Of course. We've done three queens, and now we, we said we were going to do instead of two dub queens. Yes, queen. We're going to do four dub queens. Let's fucking do... Oh, I, want, I want to do an ethnic queen. Do you want to do fucking Princess Di? <gasps> but she's a princess. Yeah, same shot. No, it has to be someone like really from history. Oh, fuck Nefertiti. yeah. Nefertiti. Oh, shit. Shit. But fuck we already yeah. did. We already did a Sandy. <laughs> Wait, he's Wait, on no, shit. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Can you at least see Sandra? Sandra D. Sandra. A Sandra D. That's Sandra what I D. said. No, I'm just kidding. Sandra. Sandra. Sandra D. Yeah, Sandra I D. I said Sandra D. <laughs> you cannot be contained, Chrissy. Yeah, Clark. I'm just kidding. Sandra D. We did a Sandra Chrissy D. Chrissy Greenlights. Yeah. Who could we do? Who's the queen of, of American history? Let's think of it. You want to do Martha Washington? No, but she, she, we need she, we need. A How about Abraham Lincoln's wife? No, Mary Wash. She was fucking crazy, Mary Lincoln. We'll do all those eventually, but we need a queen. We need a fucking queen. Nefertiti's 
It could be a good one. But she's too close to Cleopatra. Yeah. She, uh, I've got a list of the most famous okay, queens. Okay, let's do it. Let's hear uh, it. Elizabeth I, Elizabeth II, yes. Queen Victoria, Cleopatra, Ooh, Queen Victoria is Catherine name. the Great. Ooh, Catherine the Great from Russia. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this one. Hatch, she puts it. It's just because you can't read. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> we've people have seen your descriptions of the patrons, they're all misspelled. Eleanor of uh, Aquitaine. Ooh. Uh, Zenobia. Are there any good Maria muzzies? Teresa. We got any I good... couldn't pronounce it. It was it was the one that hat should something. Mahaladi. Like yeah. 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 Right, let's do let's do a muzzed out queen. You want to do? <laughs> <laughs> you want to do some? We got to find one that's muzzed out. Look, we'll probably do Catherine the Great because that's another giant. Catherine the Great's a She's giant. She's a Russian, right? Yeah, she was a giant. Um, but how about this? If there's any Yas queen you want to hear about, write it on our Patreon page. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge. Yeah, right on the community board. Okay, and here are the newest, here are the newest, newest members of the Patreon. And then also we're just, and then we're gonna make a couple of calls to our $25 members. But right now, here, um, here are the newest members. Brandon H. Brandon H. Yeah. What's up, kid? Uh he's he's Brandon H is uh he's just a good old Irish, Scottish, waspy, Germanic roots American kid. Next up, the other side. The other side? Yeah. Okay. Um, he's a mysterious kid. Chris Martinez. Yeah. Yeah. Que gente. Chris Reed. Chris Reed. Wow. Just. A, I mean, can you get more white than Chris Weed? Reed. You are way sweet. Gabriella Antigoni Matildes. Wow. Wow. Wait, wait. Say that one again. Gabriella Antigoni Matildes. Uh, we got a nice that's a, that she's a papa pa from Venezuela. Venezuela. I think she eats cachapas. Brian Sullivan. Brian Sullivan. Uh, that kid, his father's a cop. He's a fucking Irish kid, and it is what it is. He's the type of kid you don't want to fight because make no mistake, Irish kids they take a beating and they just don't stop coming. Yeah, Andrew Ott. Andrew Ott with two T's. Yeah. O T T. It's a kid who just he has a few relatives that fought in the Civil War. He doesn't come from money. They were paupers. They were just poor farm boys. Yeah. But he's an American fucking kid, Protestant kid, whose who's ancestors are Puritans. Lindsay Harriman. L- Lindsay Harriman? Yeah. Is she... Is Harriman. H-A-R-R-I-M-A-N. Indian. I'm going to go Indian. She's an Indian girl. Jessica Kasani. Jessica Kasani. How you doing? Listen. All right, listen. We're going to... Oh, she looks like a pea. Yeah. Listen. I tell you... You're going to get married. If you're going to marry my daughter, you're going to take care of my daughter. And if, listen, I know how guys saw. Let me look at me in the face when I'm talking to you, Vincent. Vincent, look at me, all right? All right? Listen to me. What's her last name? Cassani, but it's K A S A I N I. I don't know. That's Italian. That's Italian. Say, say I'm listening, Mr. Cassani. Say it. Mr. Cassani. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Vincent, are you listening to me? Yes. You say, yes, Mr. Cassani. Mr. Cassani, yes. That's right. Listen, look. You treat my daughter with respect. If you got a gumar, I don't want her to know about it. And listen, my dry cleaning business is now your dry cleaning business. Yeah. Okay? We're in business together. My daughter's husband is my son. Yeah. And I'm just happy he doesn't use cocoa butter. <laughs> Come on. Wait, he's on. Wait, he's on. Say it with some fucking meaning <laughs> if you don't have the recording. We're just kidding. Wait, yeah. he's it. All right. Eric. That's a funny one, by the way. Doesn't you? So if somebody, if somebody smells a little like cocoa butter, can... He, can he date Delilah? No. <laughs> Delilah's, Delilah's boyfriend has to smell like Luberderm lotion. Yeah, like yeah. Cetaphil. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Okay, Eric is the next one. One name. We know what it is. Yeah, come on. April, one yep. name. Uh, that Back to back. Yep. Mavri. Autumn Snow. Autumn Snow? Sounds like a porn star. Um, no, Autumn Snow is a huge fan. Shout out to Autumn Snow. Yes. Oh, I know yeah, Autumn Snow. She's Thank come, you. She's come to every single one of my shows. She loves everything Bay Ridge Boys, Maurice Sapano. She's, uh, what's up, Autumn Snow? Shout out. She's a super, she's super fan status. Yes. Okay. Nicole Mora. Nicole Mora. She, that's a good old it- Irish. Uh, uh, she's an Italian Catholic girl who, make no mistake, got finger blasted in the basement of Matthias. Yeah. Sarah. S A R A H I Sarahi Rodriguez. Yeah, it's a Puerto Rican girl from Sunset. Yeah, and, and if she has a tattoo on her tit. I'm in. Next up, Dainty Ding Dong Dylan. 
Funny kid, PPW uh, nominee, and he's uh, a kid named Dylan. Dylan is a... There is nobody on this planet named Dylan who's not 100% fucking white. Wait! Christopher Kalito. There's no whiter name than Dylan. Christopher Kalito. Christopher Kalino, listen to me, all right? Kalino, 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 real estate insurance. Yeah. All cash, please. Mike McRae. Mike McRae? How you doing, Mikey? So, your father owns a bar, and that's where you drink. Dave Rusum Jr. Jim Rusum Jr., he's just a normal kid from Arizona who... Uh, who uh, doesn't mind hearing news that uh, there was a couple of guys who were a little tanner who got stopped and asked if their papers can be seen. It's what it is. Yeah. Elizabeth Cronin. Elizabeth Cronin? Wow. That's, she's royalty. That's wasp royalty. She has blonde hair, yeah. Yeah, she's wasp royalty. I'm going to go Cronin. She's, uh, she's, she's a British woman who comes from money. Mitchell Tata. Mitchell Tata? T-E-T-A. Tata. Tata? Uh, I'm going to go uh, S- South America. I'm going to go Panamanian. Last Mitchell, but- M- Mitchell Tate is a Panamanian kid. Last but not least, Craig Clifford. Craig Clifford? I mean, because I just love the African-American community that is supporting us. But it's, it's you're wrong. He's a white kid with a white baby. <laughs> He's got a white baby. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because that's not normal for you. You're a white kid who doesn't have a white baby. Yeah, I don't have a white baby. The last thing I want is a white baby. I want my baby to be half African American, Puerto Rican, and Chinese. Yeah. Um, all right, well, those are the newest members of our patrons. Do we have the capability to call today, or is that all that stuff uh, down? That, that's down, Okay, but it'll be back up by next show, so we'll do all the calls. So next, next show, show, we'll do a whole show. Uh, we'll do, we got to do a, a lot of $25 calls next week, so yes. we'll try to do, we'll do half and half. So if you're a $25 member of our Patreon, thank you so much for your service. We will get to your call. We're just having some, they're renovating the studios. We're finally going to get cameras that are in HD, so you can see that I got yellow stains on my teeth. Yeah, so thank you very much. And head over to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys to hear the bonus episode about our weekends and Queen Elizabeth in more detail. Yeah. Yes, Queen! Yes! And get us on Instagram at History Hyenas. You can get me, Chris D Comedy, ChrisDComedy.com. Everywhere I got shows coming up, uh, Denver Comedy Works and the uh, Philadelphia Punchline. So check it out. Late yeah. February. And my website's down, but I'll be at Governor's and... Um. Yeah. Yeah. Follow me on Twitter. Yeah. For follow Giannis's tweets. They're getting pretty alt right. I gotta go suck a dick. <laughs>